Hi, my name is Pat, and this is my channel, Book Chat with Pat. It's still Tag Tuesday, and I'm going to do another tag. Uh, this is called the Your Answer Can't Be Books original tag. This is an older tag, and it's been around for some years, but I was just tagged recently by the creators of this tag. Um, Joe and Mary created this at BookBuds, and I was just tagged in this last week. Um, so I'm going to do this tag, even though many people out there have already done it, and I'm going to tag newer booktubers at the end so that uh, they can do this as well and we can revive this, this tag. So your answer can't be books. Um, so Joe and Mary say, this is our first original tag, so excited. Uh, if you do this tag, please comment here so we can come back and check it out and learn about your quirks. We all know that booktubers are bookish people, but what else makes us unique? Hopefully a bunch of us have some fun with this tag. We sure did. Okay. Um, Number one, what is something that you own way too many of other than books? So this is an odd thing. Um, I own way too many uh, plates, cups, saucers, um, kitchenware. I have my own kitchenware, I have my mother's kitchenware, I have my aunt's kitchenware, I have a set of china for 12 that I inherited. I have more plates and cups and saucers and, and just you know, service for, for meals than I could ever possibly use. Um, but I can't part with any of it either. So that's, it's not something I buy, it's just something I, I, have, I have acquired. Um, number two, what is something that you do for fun that is not reading a book? Um, I go to the gym. I go to the gym six days a week, and I have a whole community there as well. And uh, it's just become a, a lifeline for me and, and a really, really important part of, of my life. So every morning um, after I read for a while, I, I go to the gym six days a week. Um, number three, what is something special or important on your nightstand that is not a book? Well, my nightstand is covered with books. Um, at least the lower shelf. Uh, this is something important. Um, I have my sleep apnea machine on my nightstand uh, to keep me breathing all through the night. Very, very important. Okay, number four. What is something that you buy at a bookstore other than books? Um, I buy cards for all occasions. Um, and I buy coffee. Uh, that's if I go to um, a Barnes and Noble. And my local Barnes and Noble closed, so I have to travel some distance to get there. Uh, but I buy cards for you know birthdays and other important occasions, and I and I buy coffee. Number five. What what's a fun gift that you have received that wasn't a book? or a gift card for books. This is actually sort of a funny story. Um, when I was a little kid, my mother used to stage this photograph every year around Christmas time. And it was of me coming down the stairs, you know, in a nightgown, um, holding a lit candle, like we were something out of Dickens' Christmas Carol. Um, and my mother did this <laughs> all through the 60s. So there are many different stages of my life of me carrying this candlestick, you know, coming down the stairs um, or going up the stairs that was the night before Christmas. I don't know. But um, my mother had this Victorian Christmas idea in, in mind. Um, so I lived with um, 
two older brothers and two older cousins, uh, four older boys. Um, we had a, uh, I lived with my mother's extended uh, Italian family for um, uh, my early years. Um, and I have been <laughs> really ridiculed and mocked over these photos of me with the, with the candle, the Christmas Eve uh, photo. So every Christmas, uh, one of these older, well, actually it's, a, it's an older cousin, um, he gives me some gift every Christmas that has something to do with a candle. Sometimes it's a real candle. Sometimes it's one of those illuminarias, you know, that, that lights up. Sometimes it's, you know, just a beautiful, um, you know, some kind of decorative item for the house. But every Christmas I get, um, I get some kind of a, of a candle. Um, <clears throat> Uh, he also gives me books. Everybody gives me books, and they give me gift cards for books. But but the candle comes through every uh, every holiday, and and so I decided that I would have to join in on this. And I have what I think is the original brass candlestick holder that I was carrying, at least in the early pictures. I have that because I I have my most of my mother's things and um, so I decided you know if you can't if you can't beat them then join them so I started gifting re-gifting this brass candlestick holder especially to the cousin who who won't let this die um, so the candlestick gets passed around the family also you never know where it's going to turn up usually it's for christmas somebody will get it but it it's been known to turn up uh, on other occasions as well once i received a box at school and i opened it and it was the brass candlestick so you know i i come from a family that 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 doesn't let a joke die ever but, but that's, that's, a fun, that's a fun gift that is not really book related unless it's sort of kind of related to a Christmas carol. I, I don't know, but it's not a book. Okay. Um, what's a YouTube channel that you watch that's not related to books? I answered this question in another tag last week, um, and I have two. One is my cousin Bill Mitchell's YouTube channel, which I watch, and that's where he posts videos uh, and information about his work to stop dating violence uh, since the murder of his daughter. Um, and it's uh, a very important channel, and I, I promote it on my channel whenever I can. And my other channel, my other favorite channel, is the Posh Paper Lady, um, who talks about crafting. And, and I think I shared this in another video, that uh, she became my hero when I saw how she dealt with uh, trolls and, and other, uh, some more subscribers, who were just leaving really unkind uh, comments on her on her channel and she did a video on how she was handling that and 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 she's been my hero ever since um, okay and that's the whole tag so tag five booktubers you want to learn more about so i'm tagging five people who are newer to booktube and who would not have been here when this tag went around the first time so I'm tagging Debs at Rainer Reads Stuff. I'm tagging Gavin at Genre Books. I'm tagging James at Quaint and Curious Volumes. Um, I'm tagging uh, Ellen, Ellen Made Book Club, and I'm tagging Nikki at My Messy Bookshelf. Okay, and that's it for Tag Tuesday. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you're doing well. I'll speak with you again soon. Take care.